I think I'd have to say follow your instinct because uh, what, I, what I've decided is that after 25 years doing this is that every single direction that you pick in your life is difficult so you might as well pick the thing that really you have a passion about because you need a lot of stamina to stick with it. Um, so uh, I was very lucky I was able to uh, bring my craft and uh, my love for art uh, and my instinct for doing, you know, for sort of bringing those things together into a, into a practice and a profession that um, has lasted a lifetime. And so it's been a very wonderful journey. And I wish I had understood sooner maybe how important it is to really focus on what makes you happy because ultimately you're going to be spending many many years doing it so doing something that really fulfills you uh, which in my case was uh, you know following the pursuit of beauty uh, is very important i would tell them to or i would tell myself if i had to start now not to be scared to take any chances you know follow your gut follow your heart and follow your passion and uh, the rest will come. Might take a little bit of time but perseverance pays. Um, as you know I come uh, from a family of uh, jewelry business and then I've been born in this industry so I know a lot of you know I go back way behind. But my milestone was actually when I launched Marley and I, uh, it was an amazing milestone because it's not only about launching the jewelry, it's also about seeing the people's reaction and how they appreciate the craftsmanship and the design. Uh, that's kind of hard to tell. There have been so many interesting milestones, but one of the uh, one of the things that happened in, 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 the, in the arc of my career that was really a game changer was identifying that I was really designing for women. Uh, and that, um, you know, I sort of knew, I realized, you know, when I was designing at the very beginning that I was trying to find, you know, a, a jewelry line that, and an aesthetic that answered to my real life needs, you know, that something that jewelry that I could wear every single day that was made out of real materials and I'm a big believer in fewer better things and so um, you know understanding that women are really my customer you know and that every single thing has to be designed uh, along my very sort of central credo which is cool enough to covet and classic enough to keep uh, which means that everything has to have a real emotional uh, pull uh, because ultimately it's jewelry and you, you have to have that factor to it. Um, and at the same time though, it has to be um, made out of beautiful, beautiful materials and make you feel comfortable even at the time of purchase that you're going to love this thing for a very long time. This is year, I believe, 32 of my designing jewelry and beginning my company, which I founded in Florence, Italy, when I was in my 20s. So at this point, after these decades, I've had many milestones. But one of the most incredible milestones is possibly having this piece, the Tono Mayo, which is based on the geocentric theory of the universe, that the Earth is the center of the universe all set with multicolored sapphires and engraved in the back with all the planetary orbits. This was accepted into the Louvre and the Decorative Arts Museum in Paris to be part of their permanent collection. And this is a huge honor, especially since they only have three Americans there. I'm an incredible company with Louis Comfort Tiffany and Alexander Palmer, and the only American woman to be featured in their jewelry collection there. Another huge milestone for me was accomplishing not only the publication of this book of the Golden Menagerie, 
but of creating this haute couture collection based on my love of nature. So this is an exploration of natural creatures through our different cultural lenses, through fairy tale, mythology, natural history, and finally extinction. And it's a series of about 27 unique jewels, all completely one of a kind in different gemstones, where I did artistic collaborations for the packaging. And it was raising some of an artisanship and a collaboration with artisanship and artists to the highest level. And it's sort of, again, it takes 30 years of uh, experience and work to, to do that. And it was a huge milestone for me. I feel like I've been working for Hamilton for as long as I with Hamilton for as long as I've been working, so I can't even imagine that my career without it. But the camaraderie and the feeling of encouragement and having my back and working through my journey of being a designer is invaluable and has been a pivotal part of my career. Working with the various jewelers that I work with, and particularly someone like the Hamiltons family and Hamilton's jewelry stores, is again longevity. I've been doing this for decades. Hamilton's has been doing what they do for over a century. We all keep evolving and you know changing and renovating with the times. It's a time now the jewelry I make is for self-purchasing women and I love being with these partners over time and drive with them. We love to work with Hamilton. In, in general, me and my team, uh, we like to work with Hamilton, uh, especially for the knowledge and expertise in the jewelry business. Uh, and I think uh, from what I saw with my uh, you know, calls, like you know, visiting the store and working with Hamilton, I saw uh, it's not only about like it's not only about working with the pieces. It's also about having the vision, uh, which is the future vision, not only the present. And I think like Hamilton is the great partner to work with because they have the same vision as Marley. Well, the big thing about Couture is where I get to see all my retail partners and introduce our new collections that we did for, for this year. And this year, as you know, is our 40th anniversary, so we created a lot of new things. One of the things that we did is we introduced a new category, which is called hair jewels. So what we did is we did all these new hair barrettes, whether it's like a barrette like this, or a very pretty circle like this, or even the little you know butterfly clips like this, where you can put your hair like that and you have a nice jewel in your hair. So basically, one of the reasons why I introduced this collection is I was fed up of breaking my expensive French barrettes, which cost, you know, in the neighborhood of two, three hundred dollars easily. And I said, you know what, let's make them in real. So starting at um, like three thousand dollars, you can have a real barrette, like you can see them in here. And so far, it's been extremely well received. And, um, then um, another another category from which we become pretty known for is like this necklace that I'm wearing, which is totally convertible, which uh, it has like a, a, a bracelet that you can remove and wear. You know, so you wear the necklace like this is a necklace, and you still have a bracelet that you can wear with it. So these are all fun pieces that, of course, you need to be here to see them, to feel them, to try them on. I like the show because it is uh, the perfect platform for what I do um, in terms of quality, in terms of the caliber of people that it brings in, and in terms of the whole group of people that we exhibit and you know meet. I think it's a perfect platform and uh, it's a very curated exhibition and uh, it's the perfect platform for my brand in terms of quality and um, um, the company that I have.